Hello ladies and gentlemen, I was asked to do a recap video on some of the modifications that I've done to this mini excavator that I bought um, purchased about six months ago. Only use it a handful of times, but every the times that I did use it, I was pleased with it. Um, did the job that it needed to do. Um, so a uh, few questions that I've had was detail on the fans that I installed. So as you can see, most people are doing it. Um, installing fans where they blow or suck in, uh, there's a argument about that, which is best, but these that I have installed here, they suck inward. You know, they, they, they blow air inward. They will also reverse to blow air outward if you just switch the positive and negative. There are two direction fans, and I got these off Amazon. Those are eight inch fans, um, 12 volt, uh, little fans. I mean, if you go any bigger than that, you probably had a really hard time putting them in these little spots. This side over here was the toughest because of the hydraulic filter. Um, but, you know, once you get this back piece off here, you have accessibility to a lot more than just up here in the top. And, you know, it comes out with these bolts right down here, one down there, one up top here. There's one there one also here and then the same two here and this back piece will come off uh, will give you accessibility to in the motor compartment now back to the wiring here now if you look up underneath the control compartment here where your ignition is they have an extra set of wires here this wire which one that I found works off the ignition when you turn the ignition on this wire is powered these two wires here would only work this is your ground obviously this other wire here was only powered when the light switch was on this one here well I didn't want the fans to come on with the lights because if I want to use the fans without the lights vice versa so this green and yellow wire on your model may be a different color but just get an electrical tester and you'll be able to turn the switch on go to your ground and find out which one is hot with the switch on and make sure it's not hot when the switch is off okay see so in case you forget to leave the switch on of the fans they're not running unless the switch is on okay um so that's pretty simple what i did here is just install a, a toggle switch now you can go to the marine department um, at local walmart or the marine department at your hardware store and probably find a better waterproof you know toggle switch this one just auto parts store a couple dollars here um you could probably find one for i don't know you spend a little more money 10 15 dollars you can get one that's water resistant um but that's one that i went with it's rained on a few times it's still working um the moving on to the timer i put a new timer on it digital timer i changed the oil when I first got it so that way I know exactly how many hours on it because the old timer was an analog timer um, it would still run with only the ignition on and not the motor so I ordered this timer off of Amazon for about three dollars and you have to wrap the wire around the spark plug uh, wire down here so there's a little wire that comes off one single black wire that comes off this timer it's long enough to reach all the way down there and wrap around I don't know if you can see that very well but that spark plug wire about an let's see about where it starts turning down at the 45 angle you want to go down about an inch or so and start wrapping that wire and wrap it around about three four times and it comes with a, a zip tie and you could zip tie the wire so it does it secure it in place I don't know if you can see the zip tie down there uh, so it secures it in place and you just run that little black wire around the corner here and just straight up into that little uh, bottom of the timer there and that's that's it this will fit into the hole that that little analog timer was in okay I'll put a link uh, in the description to the timer uh, the fans and the little bucket that I ordered right there but we'll get to that in a minute but back to the uh, timer switch okay so I changed the oil there were people that asked questions about the oil uh, what type did I use um, it's very simple to change. There's no filter. Um, there is a little uh, bolt on the bottom right down there. If you could see it, 
right there in the middle of the screen should be that bolt you loosen it the oil will come out you put your pan underneath there it comes out very nicely and easy um, you will refill it it's, the quart is enough uh, quart fills it up but if you want to be exact to the fill line then you could probably put a quart uh, a quarter of another quart I don't, I don't know if that'd be um, so that's the back part that's that's it for the toggle switch the timer and the fans that's all i did to the back and changed the oil um, the only other thing that i did to the front is i took the uh it, it came with little needle grease fittings from factory where you have to have a needle to like stick in there and it's i don't like using those i like to be able to put my grease gun on the actual fitting itself some people will say putting one here will be bad news because it could break while digging well just be careful you know um, so I, I replaced all the nipples on the tractor to those um, from again from your local hardware store you could find these there's no link or description you can just go down there and say hey take one out and match it up it's pretty easy and then I will put a link in the description for the bucket uh, there was a few people that asked about the bucket where to get it from um, again I'm getting all this off of Amazon you know just searching mini excavator on Amazon uh, you can clearly see this is a nine inch wide bucket okay the main is seven and a quarter um, to me that's the right size for this machine um, being considered a one ton um, that's the bucket that comes with it this one here is um, let's see this one here is about 14 and a half whenever you add the little claws on the outside of the bucket there so going from 14 and a half to nine inches i mean you're cutting off let's see five inches there and that's that's a pretty significant amount um you, you can get more power digging out of the smaller bucket in in my experience because um, again i've rented these things to dig trenches for electrical lines and you know the, the smaller they call them one foot buckets smaller buckets uh come in much more handier and just make a cleaner job um <laughs> that came off an old ford ranger that i own that's put i've put many 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 miles on um so i wanted to keep a hold on to that but anyway um as far as the weight goes um if you look back here on the back i mean that 845 load like is that what can, it can pick up i don't know i've been watching videos i've seen people pick up as much as 800 pounds with this thing but you know it can't do that much more um this is not the weight of it the weight of it's actually around 1840 um i've just watched on youtube videos from other people that had paid to have them shipped over so they knew the exact um weight of it and that's what one guy was saying it was one similar to this this model here qh12 um, AGT um, you know that you'll see all different kind of models out there the only difference you know some the controls are uh, you know some have the controls for the you know, forward backwards here next to me you, you pay a little more money you can get a little more fancy but um, this would just do just fine for me and what I do as far as electrical and you know I've uh, dug a little bit out in the trench in the front for the uh for the driveway for water drainage um it's just nice to have around the house um but i i really enjoy it so if you're thinking about getting one um i, I wouldn't think twice i mean you could get a john deere or uh, you know Kubota, something like that and spend about 25 you know 20 25 grand um you know where you can get something like this so there's really there is maintenance on it, you know, but it's less. There's no water coolant. Um, hell, if you know how to change oil, put a spark plug in. Um, you know, I, I did find out that the carburetor was clogged up a little bit just from something from the factory. I don't know. They probably put in that bowl, which was clogging the jet up. So I just dropped the bowl of the carburetor and blew it out with the air hose and it runs just fine. Hadn't had a problem since. Um, but again, I'm, I'm happy with it. I have no problems. It does just what it's supposed to do.
people will say that they're very jerky. Just as long as you're feminine with it, you know, just take it easy, you know. You don't have to push everything so hard on it. It'll move pretty, pretty smoothly for you. same thing but we upgrade the hydraulic pump on the back well i don't know if they upgraded or not and put a bigger one but I, they're all the same damn thing to me um you know this thing works just fine i'm sure there is a, a bigger better pump you can put on it i haven't found one yet nor have i had a reason to look for one um again this thing does just just fine just like it is so I hope this video helps you out in any of your questions or decisions on purchasing one. Um, it was a no brainer for me. I don't have to rent one so I could take on more jobs because when I had to quote a job to dig power, I always got to keep them back in my mind. Well, I still got to rent the tractor. Still got to go get this. I got to get that. Well, now it's just easy to have it here and take off with it when I want it. What do I haul it on? I haul it on this trailer here. It's a single axle trailer. Okay, um, the weight of this trailer, if you look here, the GVWR weight is 29.90. Okay, the axles are 29.90. Um, so, you know, I would say the weight of this cargo should never exceed, you know, uh, 1330 pounds you know, 1,330 pounds. So I get it. I'm overloading it on this trailer when I do haul it. But, you know, the, the, as long as the tires are in good shape, the axles aren't bowing when it's on there. Uh, the tires are still straight. So, I mean, right now I have my kayaks on there. I love my kayaks, by the way. Um, these are Hoodoo brand kayaks. The, the fin drive, we love them. They're awesome. Uh, but anyway, back to the trailer i have no problems loading it unloading it on here um does just fine so if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll try to get to them as soon as i can i hope that this answered anybody's questions and again helped you make your decision uh because i i wore myself out on all kinds of videos on youtube just you know trying to get different people's aspects of them and a lot of people talk good about them so i'm talking good about it so there you go thumbs up from me. Hope you have a good rest of your day and a good evening.